Hey everyone, we are back with our monthly installment of your top picks from my picks, the January edition. It's February, so we're looking back at January. Um, I am a bit of a disheveled mess because it is, I don't know if you can tell by the light quality, it is not just a gray and cold day. It was, I just came in from outside, I'm freezing still, which is why I'm bundled up in one of your top picks from a month or so ago. But it was sleeting, sleeting. Two days ago, it was, no, yesterday it was almost 70 degrees. Now it's basically snowing outside. So I had a hat on and I thought I could just pop it off, um, but the hair is not cooperating. So this is the hair you're stuck with for this video. I, it is what it is. I almost popped the hat back on, but I thought it would look a little ridiculous with me sitting inside with a full on beanie. Anyway, so what I do, if you're not familiar with this, is I look over all the links that you clicked on that you seem to show the most interest in, interest in and I have broken them down into beauty slash skincare, fashion, which is really just clothing, let's just call it clothing, accessories, which is all sorts of fashion-y things that don't fit into clothing, and then I've added home slash lifestyle because I can't be categorized. Okay, so for beauty slash skincare, the number one pick from January from you was this guy. Well, this is basically empty now, but this is the holder for the Colleen Rothschild Premium Collection Kit. And um, I've talked about this a lot, and I've also gotten this dirty. Basically, this is a, I don't want to say deluxe sample, almost travel size collection of many of Colleen Rothschild bestsellers. I'm a huge fan. I recently went away for the weekend with some friends and our kids, and all of my toiletries, hair, skincare, shower stuff, all fit in here. So even if you just buy it for the bag, I, I kind of think it's worth it just for this bag. I love it. Um, obviously, it also comes full of big sizes, uh, big travel sizes of the face oil, the radiant cleansing balm, um, so many things that I'm not going to waste your time discussing them. But obviously, you really enjoyed it because that was your number one pick in beauty. And just so you know, it's always in the description box but I have a constant 20% off code. It's not an affiliate link. The affiliate link is if you use the link I provide, but if you just pop in my code when you check out, it'll get you 20% off, and it's always around, even if there's not a sale going on. Okay, the next most popular thing in beauty was this guy. Not this exact one, because I think this rose gold one is no longer available, but this is the Sigma E40 tapered blending brush, and I use this at, uh, right here in the middle just to diffuse the color on. I actually used it this morning when I was putting bronzer in my crease. So that's what this was used for. Similar to the MAC 224. It's not, it says tapered, but it's really um, a big fluffy brush. So there you go. Next on under the beauty skincare banner, let's throw in hair care. So number three popped up this guy. Living Proof Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. I love this. I have so much to talk about my hair. That will be a separate video at some point. Um, I haven't. I got the Revlon One Step Voluminous Hair Dryer thing that you do this with. It's life changing. Um, I love this. It does make my hair dry faster and less frizzier. What I have been doing, I made a new cocktail because now that I'm using most of the time that Revlon hair dryer, and it's it's not unless I add curl. Um, it's more of a blown out sleek style. So to make it more sleek, I've been adding a little squeeze of this this month, the Aveda Smooth Infusion Nourishing Styling Cream. Just a little squeeze of this, a little squeeze of that, mix it up, run it through my hair, and it's been amazing. So if you really like this, try this mixed together. It's magical. And then the last two favorite beauty items were both from Lancome. I'm wearing neither of them today. I did wear this yesterday. This was the Lancome Ombre Hypno Stilo in the shade Platine. It is a cream shadow stick. It's this cool toned, I'd say khaki beigey color. Right there. It's something else. Very user friendly. Um, I keep saying I gotta get more, but I really do. Um, it's the, just the delivery system of this. It's just so easy to draw it on, smear it out a little bit with a finger or a brush and you are good to go. I love it. And then um, actually, I wanna get more of these too. This is the Lancome Monochromatique. It is a multi-purpose pressed powder that I prefer in this shade to use 
as um, just to take my finger in and pat it all over the lid as an eyeshadow color. You can easily, let's just do it now, add it to your cheeks as a highlighter. I cannot actually see my face, so this could be interesting. And it is also recommended as um, to put on your lips to add a little pop. Let's do that. So let's do a different finger. So it's very handy. Talked about this a lot. Y'all seem to like it too. I'm curious for those of you who have bought it, did you buy the shade Eclat or did you go for one of the other shades? I would really like to hear feedback from you on that. Let's move into fashion. This is kind of cruel because I think some of this is no longer available, but I want to mention it in case I find it um, before this goes live, if I can find it on sale or I can find something very similar. Um, so here we go. Number one was the BP Cozy Turtleneck Sweater. Uh, not available anymore. Sold out like that. So that kind of stings. I'm going to pop over to Nordstrom Rack and see if I can find it online there. It, why I personally loved the sweater so much, and I'm guessing why so many of you bought it, is it's a really cute sweater. It's soft, it's cuddly, and I think it was under $30. So, I mean, BP, it's a great brand. On trend, cute, and the price point, you just cannot beat that price point. So, that was number one. Number two was kind of a tie between my favorite Barefoot Dreams pullover, which is just like a cozy loungewear piece, and the J. Crew Factory resin coat, that um, kind of dark green military style utility jacket, which I love and I have been wearing quite a bit myself. I think for me, J. Crew Factory was a standout, just that I've discovered a store I knew nothing about. I'm really excited to add that to my list of go-to stores when I need to find something to wear. So many of you like that as well. Tied for, or no, just a standout for number three. Also, as far as I know, no longer available was the Buffalo Check Cardigan. That was that big, long, almost like duster style, bright red and purple checked cardigan that I wore for a couple of events in January. And it did come in a black and white version as well, but that's not as fun as all that color. It's really fun. I just need to point out, if you do find it, it's not like the Barefoot Dreams cardigan that's really soft and cozy. This is a wool type cardigan, so it's not scratchy, but it's not like this. It's not super soft and cozy either. It's really just a basic cardigan. Number four for your top picks for clothing from my picks was the halogen print blouse that I wore, oh, I don't know, every week, sometimes two or three times in one week. It washes really well, by the way. Um, it was that bright printed blues and dark blues, and I think there was a pop of yellow in there. Um, blouse from Halogen. I, I'm really having fun with color. I know you can't tell today. Could I get more gray? No, but um, apparently you are embracing my love of color as well. And I just, you can't go wrong with a top like that. It's so versatile. The colors are really fun. And because of that, I feel like it pairs well with pants, with jeans, with just about anything. You could dress it up, you could dress it down, you could throw a casual cardigan over it, you can throw a blazer over it. It was a lot of fun and I'm definitely looking forward to adding more blouses to my collection because I just, I always go for like the cotton t-shirt, long sleeve or short sleeve, but a blouse can be just as easy to throw on and takes your outfit up a notch. And then tied for number five was the Thread and Supply Peacoat that we all love, and I think mine is towards the end of its run. So it's under $40. I have it in camel, and it mine is starting to like pill a little bit, but I have put this thing through the ringer. I've had it for years. I don't know if it's still available. If it is, I'm definitely gonna reorder the camel. I have it in a size small, but I also want either a navy or a bright red. I just think that's just fun to have. I am embracing color again. Not again, like I never really was into color, but now I'm finding it just, it makes me happy. So the number five tie thing was my lace dress, which um, was way out of my comfort zone, but I think my most liked Instagram picture ever, so thank you again for that. And apparently many of you liked it as well. And again, not only was it very comfortable and easy to wear, but it's a really good price point for cocktail dress and it's year round. It's just black lace with a nude underlay. It's very modest, you cover it up to here and it's a little on the short side, but it's not obscenely short. So because of that thin lining and that there's no glitter to it and it's not sleeveless, you could kind of get away with wearing it almost year round. Maybe not in the height of summer, you'd get a little warm, but it's a very versatile dress. And again, you could throw something over it, you can do a lot with it, but I loved it, apparently so did you. Okay, let's move on to accessories. I am not gonna drag this purse out again. I think you all are sick of seeing it, so I'm just gonna pop a little picture of it. It's the Gigi New York 
Andy or Andy crossbody bag. I love my bag. I got mine, I think it's like British tan or something like that. Um, just basic kind of light brown. It's my, I think it might be the favorite purse I've ever owned. It's just super versatile and it's easy for every day. It's easy for travel. It folds up and squishes really small. So when I traveled to um, Ole Miss, this is just recently with my friends, I actually smushed it into my luggage and brought, um, well, you'll see it in a little bit. I brought a different bag on as my carry-on and like big tote bag. So it's super versatile. There are a lot of colors to choose from. I'm, I'm curious to know if GG New York is gonna come out with more spring summer version maybe in a different material they don't tell me these things i know nothing i'm just curious i probably would buy another one it's just which color do i need a black one i don't know let me know what color is your favorite of the options that they have okay number two was the aiden wedge sneaker i believe that's from caslon i love what i'm obsessed with wedge sneakers right now i want to get some more for spring summer that might not be the high top version but just like a lower wedge, and apparently y'all are as obsessed with them as I am. So also I'd like to hear back from you. What other wedge sneakers have you tried? Do you really like, do you find they're really comfortable? Um, and what color do you recommend getting? White, black, blush, something else? I'm kind of curious how you're pairing yours and what you're wearing yours with, so please fire away in the comments. Okay, number three. I don't know how this popped up. I can't remember. Um, Maybe I found it on sale somewhere and talked about it. Number uh, three, or these, I tied this wrong, with the Tory Burch nude espadrilles. I have had these at least two years, might be going on three, I can't remember. She keeps releasing these every year. I mean, mine, do we need to look at my dirty shoes? Probably not, but um, they are so comfortable. I know some of you get a little concerned about this open kind of jute sole bed. Do not worry, it is doesn't hurt your feet. Um, but she's come out with some different colors this year and there's one that's a bit more nude than this. And since this is not nude for me, this is, this is tan. I might go down, um, to the lighter one. I think there's a nude patent. There's a black one. This is a pricier shoe than say the last one I talked about, the Castellan Aiden Wedge, but price per wear on this is probably free now because I wore this every single day, all of May and most of June, I think, last year when I hurt my initially hurt my knee. And this was the only shoe that didn't hurt my knee. It's just the perfect size platform wedge. It's wonderful. Highly recommend that you try this if you haven't. Apparently many of you have. Next under um, accessories was, I alluded to this. This is the Saint Anne zipper tote. I got the most uh, neutral thing I could pick of all the combos. I have it with my initials stamped into the leather patch. I love this thing. This is what I brought as my carry-on when we went to Ole Miss, and I fit, there was room to spare in this thing. I fit so much stuff, and then I had my little rolly bag on. I love it. Um, it has the leather bottom and the leather straps, and there's so many color combinations, and it came super quickly, especially for something that you basically custom order. I, I, I think it's such good value between this one and the Savannah zippered tote. Excellent, excellent bags. Definitely something to, I want to put on your radar as we get close to high school graduation, college graduation. This would make a great gift. And then the last accessory that was a topic of yours was the Panacea. It's a layered necklace. I always call it the O necklace. And I would hold it up to show you, except I take my jewelry off and I put it on this little decorative plate. And this happened. This is like every gold necklace I own. And in there, I don't know if you can see it, in there is the circle necklace, but so are many others. So we know what I'm doing this afternoon. Yeah, I'm gonna, I think I've learned. It's time to hang up or put away nicely the necklaces when we are done wearing them. I'll let you know how that worked out. Um, okay, let's jump into home and lifestyle. Number one again was the Joy Spotlight Mirror. Like I said, about 20 times already, I did go away to Ole Miss and there were three grown women and a high school senior young lady sharing one hotel room, a limited mirror space. This was the hero product of the trip. In fact, we all took turns around it. It's just a great, whoop, there it is. Hi. It's a great little, it's a great travel mirror. Um, again, for a college gift for someone going into a dorm. This is great because when you're done, away it goes. I, 
it's great. It's, you know, a little bit of an investment piece right around a hundred dollars, but it, I have only charged it once and I have used this thing to death. So definitely it was a great purchase for me. And I hope those of you that clicked on it are enjoying it as much as I am. Number two. Okay. This is where I'm going to say, I'm sorry. I recommended this to you. Number two was the Milani bed sheet set. So a blogger friend of mine recommended this highly and her, when she redid her master bedroom and when we recently bought a new king size bed, I needed to change all my sheets because I only have queen size sheets. So I took her advice and that of like, I think 4,000 literally other people, it's like the most highly rated and reviewed sheet set on Amazon. And I bought two of the king size, just the white bed sheet sets. They're microfiber. So if you like really soft, and kind of smushy and snuggly sheets, you'll love them. I like, I've discovered, more of a percal. I want crisp, cool, not stiff, but kind of stiff sheets, the exact opposite of what these are. So I personally am not enjoying my Milani bed sheet sets, but I've already used them and washed them, and they're a good price point. So it's nice to have backups, and maybe now that the weather has turned, they will feel nice, but 90% of the time it's pretty hot here. So I'm thinking these will be more of a backup, like, uh oh, I didn't do the laundry and we need another sheet set on the bed pronto and I'll pull those out. I'm curious to know what you all thought. Okay, number three was the aromatherapy diffuser. Again, everybody is loving it. Mine is currently living next to Shane's bed. He has a little cold. We don't think it's the flu yet, but a little cold, scratchy throat. So I have a eucalyptus lemongrass going on in there and it's kind of like humidifying his room as well. So he's digging it, but I love it. One of the best gifts I've gotten and I hope that y'all are enjoying yours. And I would love to hear your recommendations for essential oil recipes. I'm starting to get into that, it's kind of fun. Um, okay, number four, I left it on my bedside table. Hang on. Number four on the list was this. It's not too late to do some speed reading and join me for our live book club book group discussion on Sunday. But um, this is Calm the You Know What Down by Sarah Knight. And I'm very heartened to see many of you bought the book or at least clicked on the link. So there'll be at least somebody showing up to this book club live thing on Sunday at three o'clock central. Hope you're there. Um, and then the last item again, and it's back in stock, yay! At least as filming this, was, was the Kennebunk Bliss Plush Throw. It's a mouthful. Um, what can I say? If you haven't touched the soft, wonderful goodness that is this blanket for under $40 in eight gajillion colors, you're missing out and your window is closing as to when you would actually want to be wrapped in one of these blankets. So go check one out. Um, honestly, like my dream is to be wearing my barefoot dreams, pullover lounge top in, um, wrapped up with my Kennebunk Bliss plush throw. It's a mouthful. While my aromatherapy diffuser is going like, that actually might happen as soon as I turn off this video. Anyway, those were your top picks from my picks from January. And um, it is always fun to me to see what has been a hit with you and what y'all were not interested in at all. So interesting. I think there is a, a recent spike in an interest in hairstyling. So ignore this, but maybe we'll explore that more as we get into March. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for um, supporting me and my channel by clicking on those links. And um, thanks for all the feedback. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.